Hi guys, welcome along. This is Rival Kingdoms, your watching Mikas, and today we're going to go back to the start, back to the basics, and we're going to restart the Let's Play series. Now, the last Let's Play series, I do apologize, I didn't continue. The problem was I had back-to-back -back, uh, saved up, I think there was about eight replays in a row, and when my computer died, unfortunately I lost it all. So I'm going to go back and uh, go back to the beginning. Now, this series is basically for lower level players, players who are just starting, and uh, also the higher level players if you want to go back and see what it was like back in the beginning. Um, it's been a long time since I started a game, so uh, yeah, so basically it's going to be just a help uh, guide just for new players so that they can understand. So we're starting out with the Ruin Enforcer, and he says that the power is his and pretty much that they're taking out the world and Alondra here is saying quick use my troops to help so drag each squad into battle so we're going to deploy these uh, wardens and these wardens now they're kind of like archers and an ancient is coming through the shrine so uh, this is going to be Sorik so Sorik is the very first one and of course he will help and uh, as you progress during the game you will actually unlock uh, more ancients as we go but the first one is Sorik and we're going to use his uh, his abilities to help so we're going to throw down some mana hunters these are these birds we're going to throw down and they collect one extra mana now you'll see the little blue dots going to the right hand side that's mana and the uh, Troop portal, which I just destroyed, next to where I'm about to drop this rain of fire, they will give you extra mana as well. So each building will give you one mana, and pretty much one mana is like uh, energy. So we're using the rain of fire, which is just a damage maker. Uh, it deals four waves of uh, damage in a total of a certain amount of damage, depending on your level. Okay, so our mana most uh, most powerful nectar. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use black and armor over the top, and we won't be able to use the great, greater fire elemental. Okay, now time to finish them. Okay, so this is going to be your base. So we've got General Alondra saying that this is your shrine to protect it. Okay, so we're going to go back. And we're going to start off with our very first base. Nice. Okay, this stronghold is your home. However, you should upgrade it quickly before it gets plundered for resources. So we're going to uh, go down to where the arrow is pointing. That is the build menu. And uh, we're going to uh, start building up some defenses. In fact, let's go and uh, build up one defense and... Uh, see how we go okay so let's click on there and production and a gold storage so we're going to save changes and we're going to click on it and we're going to speed it up now you'll notice that there is a mouse on the screen that's because I'm using BlueStacks and uh, which is an Android simulator so if you want to play on the PC it's kind of difficult but uh, if you want to play on the PC I'll uh, put a link down in the description and you'll be able to uh, go through there. So skip for free, we're going to do that. Now if you want to skip, if you want to speed up production, it will cost you gems, uh, like diamonds. Uh, however, if it hits 4 minutes and 59 seconds, it will become free. Uh, that is the free cooldown. So we'll just speed that up. There we go. So usually I don't speed things up unless it's in the last five minutes because I want to save my diamonds. Okay, so we're going to go into a multiplayer. So you would have seen in the right hand corner you go to the map and this is the map. So let's click on the multiplayer and we're going to verse Craghorn. Now I remember, I think I verse Craghorn in the first one. So this is a tutorial base. So we're going to throw down some soldiers there, targeted, and we're going to do there. And we're just going to let them 
go. We can't speed this one up, unfortunately. Not much to defend as the troops will take out the portal. And it's saying to put the rain of fire on. We're not going to do that. <laughs> I'll put on the uh, greater elemental so you guys can see. So this one can be deployed anywhere. It can be deployed on walls. I wouldn't recommend it because it gets stuck on the walls. Um, but yeah, you can deploy it on um, uh, inside the base. So you'll notice there a new win, new streak record. As you get longer in your streak, let's go back home. Um, it will get more difficult. Okay, so we've got. Uh, let's. You need more troops when in combat. Build another portal. Okay, so we're gonna. Yeah, we're going to uh, build this troop portal. Okay, and we're gonna click on the barracks, and we're gonna click on the skip for free. There we go. Upgrade it for the wardens. So, as you can see, if you want a screenshot, take it now. You can see all the information for a warden. Okay, so let's go and select our squads. So we can click on the barracks and click on the select squads. And we're going to choose two wardens and one foot uh, soldiers. Quit out of that. Uh, keep upgrading your barracks to unlock more types of troops. So just like in any other games, uh, this is the news feed here. Um, just like in any other games, you can, um, if you upgrade your barracks, you'll get new troops. Okay, so let's go out of that. And let's click on the top. And these are the quests. So we've just unlocked the Warden, so we can claim 100 gold uh, for upgrading it to level 2. So um, you've also got Golden Fight there, play, fight a player on the battle map which we'll get in a minute, and then the scout. Um, so let's go claim. We might do scout another time, so quit out of that. Oops, what's this? Okay, so they're the completed, they're the timed. Yeah, it's not there. I don't know. Okay, so this one here is the free chest. You've got attack chest, defense chest, and uh, free diamond chest. I'm going to click on the attack chest. It will take you to an ad, uh, like a video, and uh, make sure you don't skip the video. That's a major one. Uh, so let's go. What I'll I'll watch the video, and I'll skip through it, and I'll be right back uh, when the video is uh, finished. Okay, so I'm back. The video has finished, and as you can see, there was an ad. And it's going to open up the attack chest. And I got some fire primers. Nice. Good for salt work. So we've got another two, we've got defense and we've got free diamonds. Obviously, diamonds gives you diamonds and free chests give you things like rings or something like that. So moving on, we're going to the daily rewards area. And uh, the first daily reward is 400 diamonds. Now, as we go on, the second day that you get in, uh, it doesn't have to be as like in a row. It can be uh, separate. You'll get some gold, and as you go on, you'll get Primus, gold, and diamonds. And of course, after seven days, you'll get Laris, and 28 days, you'll get Tokumi. Uh, so they are two ancients. Laris is a lightning ancient. She's quite powerful, very similar to uh, Adhera and, and Talison, both epics. And uh, as we click on that, Get out of the bundle. And uh, Tokumi has a special time um, based um, power. She's a deaf ancient. So. Okay, so let's go into this one here, which is tracking Forveal. So scouts have reported that the ruin is headed towards the frozen north. Now, this is the introduction to the dragon. So once you complete all of them, you will actually get a dragon called Forveal. Uh, you will have to build the dragon's roost in order to be able to use him. Uh, but as we scroll through any of these places, uh, if you want to read it, just hit the uh, so yeah, just hit the uh, screenshot. Okay, so 
as we scroll through, as we look through, so the first one is the Snowhawk's Reach. The second one is the Chillspine Peak. Third one, Winter Heart. Fourth one, the Frozen Barricade. The fifth one, Endless White Glade. The sixth one, Snow Leopard Outpost. The Ice Bear Lodge is the next one. And the final one is Four Viewers Roost. Now you'll notice that there is 2,000 gold here. That's how much you win for uh, MP for beating it, uh, you'll also receive uh, four of you as a dragon and you'll unlock the dragon's roost. So we're going to go into the first one and we might do one more after this. So uh, the ruin has converted this base, nothing we can do but burn it to the ground. So my niece is never one for uh, such a, I didn't read that but um, yeah, <laughs> let's go and beat it. So there is an ice tower there, um, basically ice towers freeze up your troops and I'll go through the spell towers maybe in a couple episodes time when I've got some new ancients and I'll go through the ancients too at a later stage too. Okay so you can speed up the, base, uh, the attack as well by holding down the fast forward button. So let's do one more. Okay, so the difficulty is normal and we can collect 400 gold. So here we go. At least we know we're heading in the right direction. No, I didn't read that. Okay, so let's go in. We're going to use war... Uh, yeah, we're going to use soldiers down the bottom here. And those two ice towers will attack that. So wardens up the back, and we're pretty much just distracting the uh, spell towers. The spell towers are the right with just putting the rain of fire on them. And there's greater elementals just to collect the gold, and hopefully we can finish off. Now in this game, you don't actually have to beat any of the building you don't have to beat all of the buildings you uh the gold is completely separate to the win and uh by collecting a certain amount of gold is based on how much you collect uh, obviously i got an epic victory but if you take out the uh let's go out of that click over here um so if you click uh, destroy this stronghold which is the main one so we've got some gems there let's uh Let's go in for another battle. So, um, yeah, so you'll notice that I'll take down the stronghold, and you can see there the win streak. Uh, I'll take down the stronghold, and that is an instant win. Once you get the stronghold, you get a win no matter what. So, let's go in, throw some wardens down. It's kind of hard with the mouse. And just speed it up. I don't want to wait for so long, so we're just going to hold down that speed up button. Let the troops do the work. So there we go. 100 gold, 7 trophies. And we got a chest. So, you'll get a treasure chest on every 4th. Uh, it's uh, 2, 6, 10, etc, etc. Uh, nice and battle stones. Uh, when I first started playing, I didn't get uh, battle stones uh, in the inventory. And uh, let's. Oh, we can't. Okay, so you need to upgrade the shrine to be able to upgrade Sorry, We might do that in a minute. Um, yeah, so you get every second win um, in a streak, so back to back wins, you will receive, um, you'll receive a, a treasure chest, and every fourth one you'll receive a, uh, uh, so two, six, ten will be treasure chests, and then four, eight, twelve will be relic chests. So they're a little bit different, uh, but they essentially give you something like gold or battle stones or primus. Um, we can see here in the inventory, um, there is an, an arena and a bunch of other stuff in the map too. And this is the kingdom. But of course you need level 4, so we'll do that uh, when we get to level 4. Here is the uh, the newsfeed. 
So as you can see, Relic Wars, you can scroll through. Uh, a bunch of the information is released here when it comes out. And of course, we've got a Hall of Fame here. Uh, the top kingdoms in kingdom events. So the Smashers is part of my kingdom. Uh, the kingdom I'm in is Net, which is part of the Smashers family. So let's quit out of that. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to leave you there today with a multiplayer live attack. Uh, but before I do, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and if you have any requests or questions and I'll get back to you and of course share with your friends. Let's try and get two likes for the video and if you want to see some more videos, I have a featured related video on the right hand side on the bottom and a the previous video on the top. But until next time, stay safe, have a great day. Cheers.